Now to gain access to the plugs and the coil packs we're going to use a T30 screwdriver and remove the retaining screw for the air filter housing which is situated in the middle of the housing just to the front of the engine. Remove the two pipes either side of the air cleaner. Sometimes it's easy if it's been on for a while just to prise it off with a flat bladed screwdriver. Now for the clamps, two clamps at the front and the back, I'm using water pump pliers. There is special pliers available for these, but water pump pliers are sufficient. Just can be a little bit tricky if it's not been off for a while. Now there's two stays that filter sits on, on the top of the engine, just press it into, so lift those up and again remove the clamp at the rear of the filter housing. Once that's off, now I'm just going to pop a cover on the inlet, you don't want anything to fall down there so much better to protect it else that would be a disaster. Just unclip the connections, the electrical connections, just press a tab in and gently prise that up with a flat blade of screwdriver if it's been a little bit stubborn, being careful not to break the actual plastic. Removing the bolts that hold the coil packs in place and that is a 10 millimeter socket. Now I'm using a special VW coil pack remover for this. You can see that when you adjust this tool it actually extends the end there to create a clamp to actually grip the coil pack just to save any damage. You don't want to separate these coil packs. And I do think it's a good idea, especially if you're going to keep the car, to invest in this tool. Uh, I'll try and put a link in the description for that as well. It's worth investing in this tool just to avoid any damage. Now I'm just trying to create a little bit of an air pocket by moving these from side to side. If they've been in a while it can be a little bit difficult to get these out. So there you, are. you can see that one comes out fairly easy. And that has come out in one section. Now what you want to be careful of, any dirt or anything that falls down into the plug surrounding, so if any compressed air I would give those a quick blast out or if you've got a high powered vacuum just make sure that it's completely clean for when you take them plugs out. Luckily these were very clean. Also the turbo inlet or the throttle body inlet housing which is connected to the turbo, you're going to have to remove that to gain access for the the farthest two plugs on, on the engine. You want to make sure that's off and that again is just a couple of clips holding that down and make sure the pipes are off at the side. I didn't film that because um, I needed the two hands to get that off. And you can see the electrical connection to the back there so that's just going to give you access. 16mm plug spanner I'm not using a torque wrench to undo these, you do not want to un use a torque wrench for undoing any nuts or bolts by the way, you will damage your torque wrench so I'm just using a standard spanner. Now the new plugs, I've just given a light smearing of copper grease on there. These were very dry, these have been in a while, probably a little bit longer than they should have been in. So these should go in a lot easier. Now I've made sure that that grease is minimum, um, not to actually contaminate the electrodes. It's going to make it easier for the next change. I'm just tightening these up by hand for now.
you can see by removing that pipe there we've got access to the cylinders now for these I'm just feeling for the torque I've set the torque wrench up for 22 newton meters and I'm just feeling for the torque initially on that first one and there we are we've clicked in at 22 newton meters Going back to the first one, just to check that torque, make sure we're there. And those are all set. Now I'm going to smear some dielectric grease on the bottom of these coil packs, just to create a bit of a seal there and make it much easier for removing on the next time. Just carefully pop those into place. Just press down to create a seal, making sure they're fully located on the plugs. Now the bolts are in, I'm just going to hand tighten those up for now and then I shall use the 10mm socket and just torque those up. Pop the electrical connections back into place. So that's the plugs fitted. Now we've got the throttle body turbo inlet pipe there located back in its position. You can see the clips, the various clips, and the electrical connections all relocated. And the last procedure is now to refit the air filter assembly. And again using your pliers or clamps make sure you're located on the rear pipe and press that into position locate the front of the air cleaner with the T30 torque screw, tighten that down relocate the pipes either side And connect the front pipe inlet to the actual housing. Now I'm just going to connect that last pipe in its locating bucket, and that is one finished job. All plugs replaced.